Good morning from Central California. It's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Ariana Newcomer, Dove Oracle Priestess, soon to be certified biofield tuning practitioner and voice healer. And today I want to talk to you about being too much. How many of you were told when you were growing up that you were too much? You were too sensitive, too emotional, too passionate, too loud, uh, too strong, tone it down, don't rock the boat, <laughs> all those things. And this has happened to so many women and so many of the women I work with have grown up with this. And be nice, be nice above all, that's definitely one that I grew up with. And I came across this wonderful poem recently that a friend posted in her group and I'm going to read it to you because it is fabulous on this topic and I posted um, a picture a meme from uh, Jane Goodall a quote from Jane Goodall the other day on the page and so you can see that too below and uh, it's about being a difficult woman and uh, that's why there are so many of us <laughs> that are difficult so and that some of this may apply to men too, because many men have been told not to be so sensitive, not to be so emotional, not to care so much, not to be tender and loving, because that's not masculine. So if any of this applies to you, beautiful conscious men out there, grab this and run with it too. This is a poem by Evian Whitney, and I'll pop her name into the comments here let's let me just do that here so the poem is titled I am a too much woman there she is the too much woman the one who loves too hard feels too deeply asks too often desires too much there she is taking up too much space with her laughter, her curves, her honesty, her sexuality. Her presence is as tall as a tree, as wide as a mountain. Her energy occupies every crevice of the room. Too much space she takes. She is dangerous. And there she goes, that too much woman, making people think too much, feel too much, swoon too much. She with her authentic prose and a self-assuredness in the way she carries herself. She with her belly laughs and her insatiable appetite and her proneness to fiery passion. All eyes on her thinking she's hot shit. Oh, that too much woman. Too loud, too vibrant, too honest, too emotional, too smart, too intense, too pretty, too difficult, too sensitive, too wild, too intimidating, too successful, too fat, too strong, too political, too joyous, too needy, too much. She should simmer down a bit, be taken down a couple of notches. Someone should put her back in a more respectable place. Someone should tell her, here I am a too much woman with my too tender heart and my too much emotions. A hedonist, feminist, pleasure seeker, empath, I want a lot. Justice, sincerity, spaciousness, ease, intimacy, actualization, respect, to be seen, to be understood, your undivided attention and all of your promises to be kept. I've been called high maintenance because I want what I want and intimidating because of the space I occupy. I've been called selfish because I am self-loving. I've been called a witch because I know how to heal myself. And still I rise. Still I want and feel and ask and risk and take up space. I must. Us too much women have been facing extermination for centuries. We are so afraid of her, terrified of her big presence, 
of the way she commands respect and wields the truth of her feelings. We've been trying to stifle the too much woman for eons in our sisters, in our wives, in our daughters. And even now, even today, we shame the too much woman for her bigness, for her wanting, for her passionate nature. And still, she thrives. In my own world and before my very eyes, I am witnessing the reclamation and rising up of the too much woman. That too much woman is also known to some as wild woman or the divine feminine. In any case, she is me. She is you. And she is loving that she's finally, finally getting some airtime. If you've ever been called too much or overly emotional or bitchy or stuck up, you are likely a too much woman. And if you are, I implore you to embrace all that you are, all of your depth, all of your vastness. Do not hold yourself in and to never abandon yourself, your bigness, your radiance. Forget everything you've heard. Your too muchness is a gift. Oh yes, one that can heal, incite, liberate, and cut straight to the heart of things. Do not be afraid of this gift and let no one shy you away from it. Your too muchness is magic, is medicine. It can change the world. So please, too much woman, ask, seek, desire, expand, move, feel, be, make your waves, fan your flames, give us chills. Please, rise. We need you. Thank you, Evie and Whitney, for this wonderful, wonderful poem that's calling us forward into our whole selves, into our place in the world as women of power, as women who have so much to say and so much to give and so much passion to help create the change that we need in these times. It is time for us to claim our voices, claim our wisdom, and step into being a too much woman. If you would like my assistance in bringing forward your voice and being your whole too much self, I would be delighted to assist you with private mentoring or in the Wise Woman Immersion Program, which is just starting uh, with a very small group so you get very individual attention. It's all about being able to claim our wisdom, come home fully to ourselves, reclaim our voices, come into true partnership with ourselves and the world, and to move into the next sacred reinvention of ourselves as wise women. See you next time. <laughs>